Hello. <laughs> hey, what's happening, guys? Uh, yeah, it's Brad. So, let me just explain something. Obviously, uh, this coronavirus isn't good. Stay inside. Uh, don't infect anybody else. If you think you're infected, don't infect anybody. And just don't go and get infected. You know, just just simple stuff. Simple stuff. So this video here was filmed in 2019 on January. So it was pretty. This is like a year old. This clip, and um, I wasn't actually going to post this video, but considering I have not much material to actually edit and film and all that, because I can't go outside, I just decided to edit it and see what came of it. And it's it's kind of funny. It's kind of good. Um, so I'll just explain to you what happens through the video. Me and Archie are working on this boomer and we're getting pretty tired, we get pretty cranky and uh, we just start nipping each other, it's quite funny. It's a very boring video, but it's something to watch. <laughs> I do have the footage of us drifting, so probably gonna edit up that. Because it was, it was a fun day that, that was like my first drift day and Archie's second drift day. That wasn't including our silver experiences at Driftlands. But yeah, the video basically explains for itself and it just gets... I don't blame you if you don't want to watch it. <laughs> Anyways guys, enjoy the video. Stay safe. Stay indoors. Stay healthy. Alright guys, love you. See you later. So today we're going to be working on Archie's Beamer. <laughs> Bought from the famous Driftlands. Faultless car. Faultless indeed. This came with all sorts of shit, like broken stuff. <laughs> yeah. A big old drift stick and some shitty fucking bushers. Oh, there we go. Which to are changing with today? Okay, um, oh, I guess it should be. Open. Right. First things first. Why the fuck have you got your tin of like brake fluid catcher right next to where we're working? <laughs> and it has just leaked oh, everywhere. Man, it's just leaked out. Yeah. Well, it was up right, you knocked over your penis. Chuck it on the other side. <laughs> oh, where's it going for Alright guys, so today we're going to be working on Archie's Bimmer that we so bought from Driftlands. Um, it is quite the piece. Um, so it is, so yeah, we're, we're, we're going to be changing something that was a major problem on it. Um, yeah. <laughs> pretty big of a problem, aren't you? Would you like to explain how big of a problem the... Uh, well... Uh, I mean, the engine moves a lot, um, so much so that when I braked really hard into a corner, this this nice little fan here went. Well, the whole engine actually just flew into the uh, flew into the radiator, thus breaking the. Oh, this seems quite loose. Breaking this little nozzle here. You can't, you yeah, can't, just, it just little. completely shattered this, yeah. and so coolant went everywhere. Did we film that? Uh, I, I can remember. I think we do. I think we do have footage of that. Um, so then we bought a new radiator on the day, like, oh, yeah, let's do this, 60 quid, fixed it. I chucked and, that and, in and stats, then... like, Beamer's clips are amazing on radiators, it's literally these little tabs here, yes, actually, yeah, it, it just slid was, right out. That was pretty tits. Um, yeah. <laughs> that was an easy fix. Uh, and then, oh, and then, yeah, because the engine moves a lot, you'll see if you look, uh, you can kind of see it. Oh, that, maybe need a bit oh, of light in there. Due to Somewhere down in there is the steering rack. Yeah, it's like behind this hose here. And, uh, and so the engine, when you go, if you swing the back arse out to the right, the engine then leans on the steering rack. So if you don't get the counter steer on quick enough, you can't get it on because there's an engine on your steering rack and you just go... And the steering wheel doesn't doesn't actually you turn. You can't move it, it's impossible. Yeah. So and it got worse progressively and now... Um, can we see yeah, now it's... Oh, it's you, can, you can kind of see it. But not that well. Nah, I'll do it from underneath. We're all right. But you but can see even just like in the rate. Oh no, you can't see anything. <laughs> uh, like the radiator there. It's just like the engine's been moving around that much that it's 
it's just like off the so, radio. So this is the size of an engine mount, right? That's actually your engine mount, they're nice and thick. The one down there, uh, oh, not, not quite the same, I would say. Not quite the same. Yeah, Let me a, just. It's had a long life, I think. Uh, how do I even get down here again? Oh, you've stepped on the. the nice. Uh, I've went in from the wrong direction. Oh, you can see it from here if I put my torch on. On the phone. Should be able to get it from here, alright? Yeah, there we go. So compressed. Fucking hell. Ah, we'll get it out in a minute. Right. Anyways, um, also the gearbox pushers are completely shot. So uh, that so shot that I could pick them up and give them to Archie <laughs> yeah. uh, without even taking off any bolts or anything. So I mean, mm. drift ready, uh, kind of. It did. It did do skids. It did skids. It did skids, but then I braked hard and it fucked everything. Yeah, and then the battery died. Um, all oh, of a sudden. So then I bought a new battery. No, 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 no. We don't need to go into details. What, what, what a good time! Bought a new one. Eight pounds. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna be just like trying, trying our hardest to, to really kind of film this at the same time at doing it. But I mean, like, I'm kind of rubbish at filming and doing stuff. Like I do it all the time. I've actually filmed a lot of stuff and just not ended up posting it because uh, I'm great at that kind of stuff. But uh, just right now we're taking off the intake, which uh, I modified it so it could fit this uh, Halford. It's got, it's got a filter on the inside, man. That's class. Is it? Yeah, it does. Look. No, that's it's the. Got, it's got a gauze. That's a, a either a map sensor or something else. Well, that, that's the map sensor. Yeah. Uh, why is your? Well, there's two. If you look behind it. Oh, is that a cruise control? Oh. oh yeah, it's got cruise control, BMW, dude. Yeah, yeah. So, it's, you know, there's some positives. We've got cruise control. Or a weird kind of variable valve timing. Uh, it's Vanos is what it's called, buddy. <laughs> Actually, this one doesn't have Vanos, this is pre-Vanos. So, we're just trying to get to the top of the engine mount, which is down in there, which is probably really difficult to see. But, um, the top of it there is there, so we can just get like a nut on it to hold that nut. And take it off. We don't actually know what we're doing properly, so we're just kind of winging it. But, um, That's yeah. That's how you do car stuff, man. Wing it. Yep, you wing it. You do it once and then you wing it on something else. Um, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. So, as you can see, we've got the standard jack and a bit of wood underneath the sump. These sumps are pretty, pretty strong. All in all, for the age of the car, it's actually not done too bad. It's not done too bad at all. Not bad at all, like. Oh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see that pusher. Mm. Right, cool. Let's get uh, let's get these off. Also, there's been a bit of wheel scrubbing on the chassis leg here. Right. So underneath here, you can't really see it. So you can see the new bushers under the gearbox are in. That was actually an easy job because we've got the. Oh, hello, Archie. Yeah. Because we've got the, the the engine mount off right now, um, we could literally just jack up the gearbox and didn't even need to take the cross member off. So yeah, so they're all in. Uh, here's here's a picture of the old one, uh, as I think I showed you before, which is royally rogered. I think Archie's getting another picture from underneath that I can use. Very nice. 60 FPS, eh? So that's an old one I gave Archie, but um, yeah. Oh, it is raining. We also have, still off, one of the engine mounts uh, down in here. We've got the, the bolts off it. It just looks like this. It's a big bit of poly. Um, so we've got that done in like, what do you say, like an hour and a half? Two and a half. Two and a half, eh? So, not too bad. But uh, yeah, we're probably going to have to go on to one of the hardest ones now. No, well, it is the hardest one, there's two, and this yeah. harder one, so it's the hardest. Yeah. Oh, nice and pumped, eh? Yeah. Anyways, we're back to the Beamer, and uh, it's got all the... It's got an eagle on it. It's got an eagle? What is it? It's got all the mounts in it now, so uh, yeah, we're just piecing it all back together. And what else are we here? Can you shut up? <laughs> the best tires, ones I've never heard of. So yeah, what else are we here? Um, might as well just attend to the the calipers, which are nice and loose, smooth, smooth, 
So, yeah, I'm just gonna, like, rip them apart. Yeah, that's what I said. This guy's saying too small. Well, have a date. Where's the guy? There. Oh, in here? Yeah. You can see it if you look your head in there. If I look my head in there. Oh, yeah. That is clean out there. Yeah, that is... Yeah, the wager is seven. But I can't say I've ever seen a seven in a set. Same. It'll be BMW just being BMW. You're not allowed to work in your car. Get away from it. Oh. What? Three eighths. It is Imperial. <laughs> or nine mil. But it's not either. So I don't know if Tesco's referring to something else. I know it's grinding down a ten mil to fit. Jeez. <laughs> oh, well. Right, cool. I guess I can only take. I can't do the slide pins, which is probably what's wrong on it. But I can at least take the actual caliper off and just move the piston. Uh, come for BMW and, uh, take a look. Uh, oh, no, hang on. We could be good. On the right side. Okay. Hang on. This is says seven. Uh, is a set of oh, got it. Now we're, we're fine. Oh, we're fine. You know, We've sorted it. it. Are they there? And can you find it? Should be a little red little thing this fits. with silver. <laughs> Do you need something to hold it? Huh? Have you found the right thing to hold it? Y yeah. Because <laughs> he's putting in every size but the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't believe that actually. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> It's a downsizer. Yeah. It's brilliant because I'm not filming anything with the rotor right now. You just hear what's going on. Does it, the fuck can I film right now? If you spin that, uh, just get your forehead. No, oh, it's not a loose. No. Uh, just pick it up. Just pick it up and be camera. How do I pick it? Oh, the release. Yeah. Oh. Oh, what the hell have you done? Well, I press. Oh, you put it this way. I was pushing it because I've been a fucking palm. Right. No. Before you break something. <laughs> oh, how do you do this? Like that, and then tilt it forward, there okay. And then you flip the screw around. Well, yeah. Like I know how to turn a screen, Bradley. Right, you want your camera, man. Get your fucking hand away from the stop start button. You don't hey, you, you know how to use that, don't you? Yeah, so... If everything is right, these should... be on tight. <laughs> yeah! Not? Are they? Extremely. Extremely. Have you left the keys in the ignition? Yeah. Oh, busted now. Busted. <laughs> we were talking about how you're going to see busted last night. Because my mum was like, because it came up in a question, it was like, we were doing like a music quiz thing, and they're like, oh, who, these people, who, what band like are they in? In, uh, in, in frame as well, yeah. Not anymore, because like, if I go down, you're yeah, sure I'll still a bit more zoom out. But it was like, yeah, um, it was busted, yeah. It was, you know, the people in Busted, and then my cousin was like, Oh, it's Busted! And my mum was like, oh, fuck. Because we were all like, who the fuck are these people? No one knows who the fuck these people are. Some of my cousin did know. Um, but then, yeah, my mum was explaining how you said you were going to see Busted, and we were all, they were all blown away. <laughs> how much did that cost you to go see Busted? I don't know. You... A gift? Oh, right, yeah. I'm not allowed to know these things. In the comments, put if you love Busted, eh? Two people are watching, which one of you likes Busted? <laughs> which one of you? <laughs> this is a very personal, like, personalised question. Sean? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the answer's no to that one. Why? Why, does, why do you not like Busted? Um, to be fair, I can't remember many of their songs. There's a year 3000. Yeah. There's... Oh... There's a nut, like, there's a nut, like, because I remember it was like, played at a friend's no, birthday no, party. No, 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 don't, don't be stuck, well, you can sing if you want, but you can't say the titles. So I just, I just think about it. Because I remember going to a friend's birthday party and they were playing that. And then we were talking about how there's a new McFly album coming out. I think someone was even going to see McFly. Um, John, that nice little screwdriver you just got in your bag there. Uh, where's my big again? How your feet? So it is. <laughs> That's the trusty screwdriver, that one there. Ooh. It's not a screwdriver, it's a pry bar. <laughs> Comes in handy for a prying shite. What's this one? New oh, it's like the focus area. Okay. Learning how to your camera. Right, so that's attached to the pads. That's why that's not coming out. 
You want to go press the brakes? <laughs> I'm guessing this all comes off and then you have to slide it out like a puzzle. Yeah. So. <laughs> I wonder if the camera picks up the, you know, the locking and unlocking. The, the locking and unlocking of your car. Oh, right, yeah. Um, it's still going. It's in my pocket. That's well, yeah, I know, and you're crouched. How do I tell it to... I've, I've done like a focal zone, which is the wheel arch in your chin. Or your chins at the moment, actually. <laughs> Bloody Christmas, eh? So this is this off now. Uh, are we going to move the piston in and out a bit? Um, um maybe, no, because, like, little, little, uh, rubber might not enjoy it. Okay. Right, I'm pushing back it, it back in. Okay. Just get it fucking moving, lads. Right, go ahead and push it out. Mm -hmm. Pump it again. Oh, that's going quick now. Actually, that pushed a bit faster. Yeah. I did because obviously the smooth push doesn't get much fluid out. That's why you should have it more pressure than um, like speed and the slap. Well, like surely the fluid goes further based on the amount of pressure you put to the pedal rather than the travel, right? Well, I guess travel has something in it, but. The more fluid goes in, the more it'll push it out. Yeah, off the pedal. Right, I'm happy enough with that. It's moving freely this side, so you can jump out. Okay. Beautiful coilovers. Yeah, they are really low, aren't they? Cracky. What, the eBays? Yeah. eBay, eBay specials. Let's give that a quick clean up. Maybe chuck some copper grease on that bit, just to make it a wee bit slidier. Some of that shape. There's not really any good bits you can get to because I'm just going to put my fucking hands in the way, innit? Yeah, I mean, just got it, but it's just a light, obviously. Shite, it's the rosas! Let's give that a good old rod rubber. All it does is holds on a pad. Yeah, fuck not you. It even holds on a pad, it just tells you when that pad gets low. Yep. Like a printer, and I bet it's not actually that low. Well, it says <laughs> the ones that work they use Xerox toner low and it orders a new one, or it should, and sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Not even a joke, it's fucking stupid. <laughs> if you're considering getting Xerox workstations at your place of work, don't get the Ultralink ones, they're shite. Where's the other? If you do, you need a firmware update. Where did I put the other pad? Ah, oh, good question, mate. Oh, no, I've got it. Oh, up here. <sighs> Wait, does that just get stuck in there? Anyway? Does it? Is yeah. it just a sticky spot? Just... I guess it's just a base corner there. Hey, should we do all that? See if, can you get it popped out again? <laughs> no, 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 I'm going to put it on because I reckon it just stays there anyways. Right. And oh, the other one presses like, to it. Yeah. yeah. And that's probably why it's so Where's stuck. Where'd it go? Is this it here? Uh, no. Yes. Oh, wow, that worked. Wow, what a good mallet that is. It's very good. Didn't damage anything. Back on. And that should. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Alright, so that should just slide on because we've pushed the pads out. Wicked. Easy. But the most annoying thing about your house is your Razor keyboard. Go. Flat shitty buttons. Or okay. flat line. So this is just a uh, like some kind of red grease, red rubber grease. So it, if you put copper grease into stuff that's got rubber and all that, it like makes. Oh, it it eats it, yeah. Well, it doesn't. It actually makes it expand. Ah, okay. It's super so, weird, actually. It's a reaction, I suppose. Yeah, it? and uh, I mean these have had copper grease on them, but. Will not hurt putting some of this bad stuff on. As you can see, it is actually like bright red. Proper red. We'll just 
Oh yes, you've rubbed that shaft. Oh, the crow likes it. The crow does like it actually, doesn't he? <laughs> like the bold cunt with the spikes in his head. <laughs> what? <laughs> Pretty sure it's the crow. Something like that. It's a film I've never seen. I think it's got Russell Crowe in it. Is it the crow? I'll have to look it up now. No idea what you got. Oh, you don't have any what? sacrificial towels. <clears throat> I, I do actually, but. <laughs> Fuck, stop presuming. Why is it a sacrifice from my microfiber that you've just not been a good parent? So? Yeah, I mean, we used it for a couple of grease one time, and well, yeah. <laughs> there's no coming back after you've been copper greased. No, nope, there's not. Yeah, it's all up in there. All slimy and shit. Yes, that's one of them boys out. Just uh, get the next one lubed up. And we're ready to go in. We'll just quickly do the other side because it takes two seconds once you know what you're doing. Hey! There! It's well done. Hopefully that means that that doesn't stick. Right, push that in, just get her nice and in. Yeah, that, the bright line grommet. Oh, look at that, slide in. Yep, sliding in nice and easy. And then there's this one here, which is just as worse. No, just as bad. Because worse means worse. Cool. What's that like? Oh, oh it's, it's a nipple, it's mate. A hole. It has a hole. Are you yeah. planning on um, doing what? Break. Yeah. Stuff. Right. Don't well. have to do it right now. Uh, yeah, but I'll, what I'll do yeah, is I'll just scrub it and W D it. Yeah. Well, this is uh, how to light your videos 101. Um, oh, there we go. I look pretty spooky actually. There's literally just near light now. It's dark. Can't see anything. Archie's beamer. Uh, what all have we done to your beamer, mate? So, um, this is Archie's beamer. Uh, we haven't actually introduced it to the channel or anything. Oh, there we go. There's a little bit more light. So, um, what's up with your beamer, mate? Give us a quick... St oh, no. I think we maybe said, actually. Yeah, well, in the other video we did, but, like, yeah. Well, th this is the same video. Yeah, well, so it is, isn't it? Oh, God. So, these are the old engine mounts, minus the bit that's at the top, which is uh, on the floor there, actually. That's supposed to go in there, along with a bunch of rubber. But, but uh, this bit always snaps off. So what all we've done here is we've changed the engine mounts to poly bushers, and we've changed the gearbox mounts to poly bushers in this one video anyways. And um, just because I'm not going to be up back up here probably in a while, because I need to work on my own car, uh, we've kind of done like a caliper service on this front left caliper here, passenger side, uh, so I mean you can do the other one at some yeah, point. Um, pretty easy I think. Yeah, uh, put down your light because it's like literally, ah there you go. <laughs> so yeah, Archie's Beamer, we'll give you a quick little rundown. It is a, what is it, it's a 325 isn't it? 3. 323. Three. Right, and... Uh, yeah. Four doors. Right, please. <laughs> Top kick seat. So it's, a, it's an E36. Yeah, E36, free, two free. Um, so you purchased this from Driftlands, and uh, it's so over here we've got the Driftlands, smelly stuff. Um, but yeah, so you got this from Driftlands, and it came with a hydro. It came with what else did it come with? It was drift ready, so welded diff. Yeah, drift ready. Drift, drift read. Why? Um. Came with a full interior and everything. It was it was just ready to drift. Yeah, and I'm a top dad now. Okay. You're a top dad. Um, right, the battery's gonna die, so I need to hurry this up. So it came with welded diff, high uh, battery, a high hydro handbrake, and yeah, yeah. So it was just <laughs> it came with near bushes as well. Um, but uh, right, okay. So I'm just gonna do a wacky ultra like this. Uh, this is gonna be it for the beamer. Episode 1, I guess. I don't know what to say. I'm just going to have to say goodbye. Yeah. Right, cool. Yeah.
Thank you for watching anyways, and I shall see you later. Oh, we also fitted the pod filter, didn't we? Yeah. Off my sister's Fiesta, that. Mm -hmm. 1.25. Oh, wow. Brilliant.